Assalamualaikum. In this video, we are going to create enemies uh, with the uh, waypoint system. So let's see how we can add enemies in our environment. So we are getting closer to our uh, finalizing our game, and uh, most of things we already have learned. And uh, definitely, in this course, we are not uh, creating some. A game to publish uh, it's just for learning purpose so uh, I will not uh, finalize it like a triple uh, A quality game so you should uh, understand uh, the logics and definitely by following these logics you can create your own uh, games so now you can see that our environment is quite uh, hierarchy is quite uh, bad so for that purpose we will create an empty object and uh, I will rename this object as the environment environment and then I will just place these objects inside the environment game object so that our uh, objects will be categorized and our hierarchy will be nicer so now you can see we have these objects where we have a UI. Uh, we also have a spawn point. So if we press F by selecting the spawn point, uh, we should know that our player will launch here, will, will spawn here. And from there we will move towards the gate of this military environment and from gate we will come here maybe and from from this side we will uh, we will just create this we have to destroy this point and then we will run away from this car okay so this is our mission so for that purpose we will create some random enemies and I will not add too much enemies uh, we will just add some enemies and you will get idea and definitely in your games you can create more enemies and more objectives uh, so first enemy we will place it at the gate so we will go to prefabs enemies and we have uh, sniper enemy we have uh, this shooter AK enemy and shotgun enemy so we can just drag drop one enemy here and now I will just uh, organize the things so I will create a game object and I will rename it to enemies and uh, we want to place our enemies inside this game object so this is our enemy so now this is organized also we will create one more empty object for waypoints so i will just rename it to waypoints and then uh, i will just create our first waypoint so in vector uh, ai controller components new waypoint area and then i will rename it to waypoint area one okay you can definitely name it whatever you want and i will place it inside this game object after that we will just click on enter edit mode and then we will start creating our waypoint by pressing shift and left click so now you can see that when we press shift and left click on the right side you can see that we have a waypoint one and waypoint zero but they are out of nav mesh we are getting some error here so because we didn't baked our environment with navigation so what we can do we will just uh, I will just delete this waypoint before and then we will select our environment train you can see train and then we will make it static you can see static you can only select the uh, navigation static if you want but I will just check this static uh, icon so it will 
be baked uh, it can be baked now as a uh, occluder static and uh, also for navigation so now for navigation we will go to window ai and navigation and uh, now we will go to bake and we have certain settings in the bake and uh, we already have learned this uh, navigation and baking process in uh, past videos so i will keep the uh, parameters uh, default and then we will click on bake so it will start baking our environment it will definitely take some time to bake and when baking is done then we can create our waypoints so let's wait for some seconds and we will get back after baking process okay so now our um, environment is baked as in navigation and we can place our waypoints so now let's add our first waypoint area so we will go to a eye controller again new waypoint area and it will be hopefully in the last and we will just place it under waypoints i will rename the name of waypoint area as a waypoint area one and then enter edit mode and you can see the shortcut keys as well for more you can click here and you will find shortcut keys here so now we can place our points by pressing shift and click and now you can see we have no error so here we can place it throughout the wall and now we will return back so like this and that's great now we will select our shooter shotgun and definitely we will select the waypoint area section and we will drag drop waypoint here so that's nice we have successfully added our shotgun enemy and with a waypoint area so it will patrol throughout the waypoints we can definitely uh, minimize the speed and other factors so if we move deeper in uh, movement section and you can see free speed here we can decrease or increase the speed of uh, this patrolling definitely according to our needs and these things we already have learned in past videos so i will not explain these again and again so before moving further i will just select shooter settings and shooter manager actually and here damage layer we should have player and everything is fine i think so so here uh, in detection uh, we should have player selected here as well so that's fine so now uh that's it now we can add more enemies uh, here in our environment wherever we want i will add some more enemies and in next video we will move further and we will create some uh, other thing i think intro or outro let's see what we will do so let's meet in next video Goodbye.